Here is light. Light that we see is a wave, part of the electromagnetic spectrum. On the lower frequency end of the spectrum, with lower energies than visible light, are radio waves, microwaves, and infrared waves. At higher energies, there are ultraviolet waves, gamma rays, and what we will be exploring, X-rays. X-rays are high energy photons. The higher energy means that they are more likely to interact with matter. And when an X-ray interacts with matter, its energy gets absorbed by an electron in an atom of the material. That electron then gets excited and jumps up from the energy level it was in to a higher energy level. However, the electron becomes unstable there and drops back down, releasing energy in the form of a characteristic X-ray unique for each material. This characteristic X-ray of the energy can be identified with the right detector. Since they were first discovered about a century ago, X-rays were detected using a photographic plate or film. X-ray photons interact with a photosensitive emulsion on the film, forming an invisible image. The film is then developed, and the parts exposed to X-rays turn grey, while the rest stays white. However, photographic film suffers from a number of drawbacks, which has led to the development of new detection methods. Film has a very low X-ray sensitivity, even when combined with an image intensifier, and also has a limited dynamic range making it difficult to distinguish high and low density materials. Here at Glasgow University, a new type of X-ray detector is being used. The Metafix detector can not only produce clearer images in film, it can also distinguish the specific energies of the photons. Metapix has a much higher detection efficiency compared to photographic film, meaning that the smaller, uh, similar or better image quality can be obtained with a much lower dose of radiation. The detector has about 65,000 pixels, each of only 55 micrometers in length, about the size of a skin pore. This gives a better quality image than traditional detectors. It also has two threshold modes, which means that particular energies can be observed. Because each X-ray energy is unique to the material it came from, if particular energies can be observed, then specific materials can be identified. Smart in-pixel electronics discriminate against background noise, making the image cleaner. So far, uh, Medipix uh, detector has mostly been used for imaging small objects with a very good resolution. It has been used extensively in research involving imaging small animals with X-rays as well as being used as a radiation detector at CERN with the ATLAS detector. Dr. Manuski is part of a team who are working on innovative ways of using the detector. One of the projects that we are working on here at Glasgow University is using the Medipix electronics to investigate properties of a new material which is better for detecting high-energy X-rays, called cadmium zinc telluride. We are also adapting Medipix technology to be used at one of the biggest light sources in the world, the Diamond Light Source in Oxfordshire. We are collaborating with Guard Naval General Hospital to produce a lab on a chip that will radically alter the way that radiopharmaceuticals are produced, which will bring an unprecedented level of tailoring cancer treatment specifically to each patient. The Metafix detector is smart, safe and useful. It is one of many projects which puts Glasgow University at the forefront of physics. Mm -hmm.